You see this couple with problems, and it's real, but here's the other thing, they got a big house, they got money, they got nice cars, they got nice clothes, they got jewels, are they happy? In the entertainment industry, in the world, we say the sky's the limit. I call bullshit. And I say that because when you tell yourself that there is some place that you are reaching to, sometimes you stop when you get there, mm -hmm. when you think you get there, right? So you got somebody who says, I want a really big house. And they think that when they get that big house, they're going to be happy. When they get that big house, they're, they're going to want a bigger house. You're watching a movie with a couple who, who never reached that, that sky that they were looking for. And that's, I think, most people. Um, most people look at people who are rich and think that it equates to happiness because they have more things. It doesn't equate to any type of happiness at all. And you see that in these scenes, that this whole thing is spiraling out after you see the perfect couple in the beginning of the movie who just had a little problem. But people are gonna watch this and go, if I had that house, I'd never fight. Yes, you would. It's so inspiring to be on set with an actor who is not afraid to feel. That is one of the hardest things that humans uh, have to go through. We hinder ourselves so much from feeling, but he truly just gives it away every time he steps on the scene. Um, and for me, it was, it was such an honor to be able to play alongside him, but also, you know, to, we, people, we t people talk about his eyes and they talk about his looks and they talk about all that other kind of stuff, but th those were things that he didn't choose. Right? Chose to be an actor. Chose to work on his craft. And so this is a movie where I really think you get um, the actor first and then the Ely later. And that was really special to be around where you had this team that my phrase is I rise, you rise. When somebody else does good, you do good. And they, when you do good, somebody else does good. And that's what Ely really brought to the set for, for my character, especially because how he played Derek made me want to play Tracy even more. Working with Dion is like working with the change you want to see in the world. Dion puts unlikely pairs together. Dion's got Hilary Swank, me, Michael Ely, Mike Coulter, Tyron, all in the same movie. None of us look alike. None of us, none of us sound alike. None of us are from the same place. That's a dynamic you don't see very often when it comes to, to Hollywood.